Now, staying with the arts, the second edition of the Isandlwana Battle Musical Lecture returns to the Joburg Theatre next Friday. Musician and historian Mbuso Koza will once again be accompanied by the 16-member a cappella group African Heritage. Koza presents the events of the 22nd of January 1879 when Zulu forces overwhelmed British soldiers in the first of the Anglo-Zulu Wars. Koza spoke to ENCA's Faith Mankope. Apart from what happened in the Battle of Sunderland, I think the focus now needs to be what will happen now. What can we learn from the Battle of Sunderland? So that history does not find itself repeating itself in a different kind of manifestation. Exactly. History should help us not to f repeat the things that happened in the past. Mm. And it also needs to help us to understand the things that are good about us, like culture. Culture is the yeast of the nation. So now what is the decision between history, culture, and heritage. History comes in as an intervention to document, to record the happenings, and then later culture is born. But certain culture can't be practiced because of maybe the environment, like animal skins in Vunulo. You can't wear it every day. You, you, you mean this, the, the global warming is, you know. But these things are kept as, what, heritage. Mm. So this is the connection between uh, history, culture, and heritage. Mm. So the Battle of Isandlana is not about talking about cow high shields and who killed who, but it talks it should talk about what is happening in the modern day because those people who went to fight with the I mean the British uh, regiments they were not promised tenders. Can the leadership of today learn from those people in terms of the selflessness? So one of the reasons I, I curated this event called Isandana Lecture uh, is to instrumentize our culture and heritage and try to turn it into some sort of a, a, a subject of consumption.